Evening to you. One day after his tragic death, the autopsy on Rick Martin has now been released. And the legendary member of the French Connection leaves behind a wife, two children, along with a legacy of both on and off the ice. We begin tonight with News 4's George Rickard. George? Well, the autopsy from EC ECMC has determined that Rick Martin died of hypertensive arteriosclerotic cardiovascular disease, basically a massive heart attack. I just think it's it's very sad the way that it, it all transpired. At the scene of the crash on Main Street near Salt Road, a spontaneous memorial is forming. I just wanted to come down and take a look at where uh, where we lost Rick. Uh, uh, he was an acquaintance of mine, not a friend, but he treated me like a friend. The Sabres Hall of Famer suffered a major heart attack as he drove down Main Street just after noon Sunday. And I didn't know that was number seven that went by me. So. Wearing his Sabres jacket, Dwight Grove says he saw Rick Martin drive by moments before the crash. Went right by my window, my passenger window, and he was holding the steering wheel, but he was laid way back and his eyes were almost like closed. And I'm saying to myself, how could he possibly see where he's going? I really didn't find out really who was in the car until I watched Channel 4. He was one of the guys that would talk to us. Lynn D'Augustino used to work at the Odd and has this story about a pool party in the 1980s. My daughter was a swimmer from the time she was three months old, so she could swim. When she was two and a half, she got up on the diving board and she jumped into the water and um, Rick Martin yelled, the baby, the baby, and he jumped into the pool fully closed to go rescue her. And um, he couldn't find her because she swam over to the side of the pool. So we were all laughing hysterically, and he didn't get mad at us. He thought it was kind of funny afterwards, too. But we, we tell the story always, he's my daughter's hero. Again, the official cause of Rick Martin's death listed as hypertensive arteriosclerotic cardiovascular disease, which led to a heart attack at the wheel. He was pronounced dead at Millard Fillmore Suburban Hospital. George Rickard, News 4 at 5. Thank you, George. Rick Martin's family and the Buffalo Sabres announced this afternoon a memorial service will be held on Thursday, March 24th at 11 a.m. at the HSBC Arena. The Sabres will announce more details later in the week.